Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 4 Golden. Last time we got through Heaven, the last dungeon, and we saved Nanako from Namatame. Currently both uh, Dojima and Nanako are in the hospital right now. So um, both of them are waiting to recover basically. You've done everything that could have possibly been done. All you can do is wait for Nanako's recovery now. You should hurry to school. Okay. Decide later. Classes have ended for today. Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. So, just really quickly... Yeah, we're gonna be working on Naoto today. Okay, first things first, let's go into town. I think there might be some new books, and I think that there's a couple of, uh... A couple of, uh... Quests that we can turn in. Let's see, where is the principal? Is he up on the third floor? He must be up on the third floor. Oh, isn't there somebody on the roof we need to talk to as well? Where is he? Isn't he usually somewhere right here? Maybe I'm imagining things. Um, you want the janitor stuff, right? Okay, let's go up to the roof real quick. Wasn't there one of your classmates who was interested in this girl? Huh? What's the matter? Ask about her hobbies. What kind of books do I read? I, I read a lot of different genres, but I admit I have a lot of animal-related books. Stories and novels are good, but what I really like are picture books and books with animal facts. It's fun just to look at them, isn't it? After you asked that question, she began talking about her goals for the future. You listened intently. You heard something that might prove to be useful. You should report back to her admirer. He's in the classroom, I believe. Maybe the principal is in the practice building? I could have sworn he was in one of these side halls right here. Okay, let's go into the classroom. Oh, one more there. Should be this guy, right? Being a council member was tough, but it was fun. But I was so busy that I never had a chance to see that girl at all. Well, you win some, you lose some. Mostly, I'm losing some. Did you ask her? What did she say? You tell him what you talked about with the girl on the rooftop. I see, so that's how it is. I see. Oh, sorry, you really helped me out, though. Here, take this. Proceed to go home. That was like an early game mission that I completely forgot about for the longest time. Now it's done! <laughs> Yay! Oh, dude, you're in my way. Let's see, did I do your mission? You handed her the proof of passion. Ah, oh, that's them! Thank you so much. I wonder if these will make Dad happy. Uh, sorry for dragging you through this. I know I've been relying on you a lot lately. Um, this... This is for you. My mom wanted me to thank you for her, too. Received a bead, wrapped in cloth. Nice. Okay, any other quest givers here? I wonder what happened to that girl. When did we stop playing together? I remember what we used to do though, we'd sit on top of the tire mountain and listen to the radio. I didn't know how important that time would be to me back then. I know I can't do that now, but I'd like to find a girl and listen to the radio like that again someday. You gave him the silver lump. Thanks a lot, I'll finally be able to finish now that I have this. I don't know if this is enough to thank you, but here, I built these radios. Uplifting radio, I don't know what those do actually. They tend to break easily, but I thought it'd be nice if you could have a listen to them. That said, the quality of this silver is amazing. 
If something else comes up, can I count on your assistance again? Sure. Doesn't look like he has a quest right now. Okay. Let's go and check the bookshop. I think there might be some new books. I'm not entirely sure on that. I may have bought them all. Because I remember I went and bought some right before I came in here. Okay, looks like we got them. Hmm. Yeah, we got him. Okay. We did. You have the fashionable dishes. Could I have them now? Give them to him. Alright, I hope a book is enough compensation for your efforts. Received Picross rules. Hmm, it probably isn't. Tell you what, why don't you take this too? Received 10,000 yen. Nice. Thank you, this will make my sister happy. Completed quest 40. Well done, and we got a new quest already. I think we can do this one right now. You're starting to have the look of a real intellectual. That's great. Okay, I have this right in front of me. Okay, hold on. Say, do you have a moment? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Listen. I've gone and bought myself a huge bookcase. Now I can treasure my books on display after I've read them. I'm going to stop giving you pieces from my collection. I'm sorry. Well, I'll give you one more. But this is the last time. Will you hear me out? Yes. You'll listen? Thank you. This isn't really a request. Think of it as a game. I want to see if you remember what my, what my books have taught you. Okay, let's go. You'll have to answer four questions in a row, alright? Accepted a test of literary memory. What fact isn't told in the gentle way? Judo medalist names. Correct. Uh, what does the book The Punk's Way cover? How one should live as a punk. Correct. Way to go. Question three. In Guide to Pests, how many pages were used per pest? Two pages per pest. Correct. Just a little longer. In Picross Rules, what's the solution to the gold medal winning puzzle? me. Amazing, you got them all right. It's amazing that I got that considering I haven't read that book yet. <laughs> Couldn't possibly be the case that I cheated, right? That really is surprising. To be honest, I didn't think you could get all of those. You really did read all the books I gave you. I'm so happy. Yeah, I definitely did. I did. Sure. <laughs> I will, actually. <laughs> it's fun to read a book, but I realized that it's fun to talk to someone about books, too. I learned this because of you, so thank you. Received, who am I? Cool, I think we might have all of the books now. I don't know if there are any more to get after this. Okay, we are gonna be doing fortune, so we need to make sure that we have a fortune persona with us. Which it doesn't look like we do. So let's pick one up. I'm gonna do a quick save. Let's register our personas. Let's give our cards. Oh, we only have one, okay. And we just need someone in fortune. Let's see, I think there's only like one, right? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, I'm gonna check and see to make sure that I have these. Oh, I haven't gotten them this week. Okay, let's do this. 
Whoops. I might also jump over to Okina and get some costumes. Okay, let's jump over to Okina. Oh my god, there's so many quest givers over here that I've been ignoring. Ah! Hey you, you seem too fashionable to be from around here. Hmm, that scent. You smell like the city. Now, I'm just a quiet country housewife, but I was once a goddess of the stage. Ah, those days, the roar of the crowd, the smoldering gazes of the men. Listen, will you grant a wish of mine? Sure. Very kind of you. You'll be a great man someday. I went into that clothing store, but they didn't have anything I need. It's not enough to relive my youth. I need something more risque. Something that shows off my curves. What I want is an invincible skirt. Like the kind I used to wear back in the day. Does that exist? <laughs> if you ever find something like that, bring it to me so I can see it, please. Oh, what did she say? Uh, made from some castle rocks from some lab. Okay, so Nauto's dungeon and it's those weird tower castle enemy things. Have you ever dumped someone? Um, yes. You're the lowest of the low. I don't get it. He texted me out of the blue saying we should break up because we're not compatible. But I'm so normal and cute. What's so uncompatible about us? I wonder why I love seeing a man in a nice suit so much. Something you might wear at a wedding. I heard you can get it from gold chests at a castle. Oh. Get it from gold chests at a castle. Okay, so you can't just simply buy that one here. I don't know if I'm going to do that quest. I don't really want to go hunting for that. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. It's the fashion police, and you're all under arrest because the hard-boiled look is now in stock. The no-nonsense air of a veteran detective will surely melt the hearts of even the most hardened criminals. The style is to die for. I'm Reiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Excuse me, are you perhaps searching for the cleaning uniform? This cleaning uniform would look perfect on you. I can't recommend it enough. Please buy it. The style is to die for. I'm Reiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Well, all right then. <laughs> Let's see. I think the cleaning uniforms are the one that I need for a quest. I could totally be wrong about that. you like scary movies? Kinda. Then you can watch the zombie movie. I highly recommend it. Um, I know this is sudden, but do you like strange things? Like stranger things? I love stranger things. Just saying. Yes. Really? Then I have something to ask you. The other day I saw a movie about oop arts. Uh, I didn't know what they were, so I did some research, but I still didn't get it. If you know anyone who knows a lot about them, could you ask about it for me? Uh, I don't know what that means, but maybe Chie? Uh, maybe? Um, sure. Thank you, I can't wait to hear the answer. 
What was that in the movie? Ooparts. Ooparts, huh? Zombies don't count as that, do they? I wish I knew someone who knew a lot about history. Someone who knows a lot about history. I mean, we do have that teacher at school. Maybe it's one of the teachers at school that we have to talk to. Hey you, I saw you riding that bike. Yes, that was me. Aha, I knew it. The police at the station are useless. You have to help me. It's my Mika-chan. She's missing. I thought she'd be fine since Emi-chan is with her. But she goes wandering out sometimes by herself. What if she winds up in Inaba and someone kidnaps her? You can go You can go further on that bike, can't you? Go look for my Mika-chan in Inaba. Um, sure. Thank you, I'm counting on you. If you call her name Mika-chan, she'll answer. She really likes meat. I hope she isn't eating stuff off the ground that she's not supposed to. Is this a cat? Is this not your child, but actually a cat? Find my pet. Yes, okay. I thought she was talking about her kid. <laughs> okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. So now it's here. But I. Sorry, that was a weird noise. <laughs> yeah, the principal's supposed to be right here. I don't know why he's not here today. But you. Let's see. The tool should be something fit for cleaning a floor. Why don't you try asking someone near the workshop in the practice building? The cleaning uniform you have is best for cleaning. I use it all the time myself, but maybe I should get a new one soon. Okay, so somebody in the practice building will be able to get me the cleaning thing? I guess I'll try talking to everybody? Okay, not you. You want a cleaning mop? Then I have just what you need. Let's see, I'll trade it to you for a I, uh, Lai Katana, or Ie, Ie Katana? Do you still need something from me? Sigh, I can't wait to make artwork as fine as my masters. Okay, let's go into town and see if we can buy one of those. My goodness. There's a bunch of money. Lots of stuff this time. Okay. I'm guessing it would be here. There it is. Nope, don't equip it. Okay, let's go get this damn mop. And that'll be another quest down. Amazing, it's so light, it's so easy to swing. I'm begging you with my life. Please ex exchange that katana for the weapon I made. Exchange. Yay, we got a mop. <laughs> really? Thank you so much, no backsies. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I'll keep doing my best from here on out.
wonderful. The cleaning mop and cleaning uniform exist for one reason and one reason alone, and that is for cleaning. Indeed, those items show your wheel in taking on the passion of our club. I definitely want you to have this. It's been passed down all these years. Obtain the bamboo broom. May your passion never go out. Pass it on to the underclassmen who come after you. Why? Why would we do this? Um, let's see what that <laughs> let's see what that thing looks like. Um, this was an old quest, so yeah, it's not gonna be great. The bamboo broom, 110, huh? Plus four agility. Cleaning mop plus three agility. Useless. Okay. So, I think we've done everything. I could have turned in a quest for the principal, but he doesn't seem to be here where he's normally at. So, I guess we won't. Um, but now we are going to go and hang out with Naoto. And move on. Now, tonight I'm going to be doing tower. So, do I have a tower? Probably not. I don't think I do. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll go and hang out with Naoto, and then tonight, before we go out and hang out with Shu, we'll go and get a tower. How's it going, girl? Senpai? I hope they allow Nanako-chan to have visitors soon. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm free today. Naoto is trying to make you feel better. Yes, yes. I will. Samagawa Floodplain. Naoto is thinking carefully as she stares at the two cards laid out in front of her. These cards came from Shiroku's store. When I talked with the owner, her description matched the one you gave. This phantom thief purchased these cards mere days before handing one to you. If that's the case, it's hard to imagine that any elaborate process was performed on the card. Although, I do detect the faint lingering scent of citrus. A very weak cologne, perhaps. <sighs> what should I do? Burn it. Hmm. Burn it? Reduce it to ashes? I don't suppose there's anything inside. <gasps> ah, Naoto has realized something. Impossible, but could it be? Your house is closer. Let's go test it out now. You headed to your house, practically dragged by Naoto. Your house. As you toast the card with the fire from the stove, burnt letters appear. It really was invisible ink. The citrus juices staining the paper burn first, making it legible. Damn. A grown man employing such childish tricks. And this sentence here. The card reads as follows. Eating letters with a red face. Eating letters with a red face? This is... A mailbox. I see. Ah, indeed it is. You're good with riddles, I see. Naoto smiles. She seems to be having fun. A mailbox. There was one in the shopping district. Let's go. Central Shopping District, at the mailbox next to Daidara. It seems there was something hidden behind the mailbox. This is... Grandpa had this? Why did he keep it? Good, you got it back. Huh? Yes. Naoto's face is red for some reason. I made this when I was a child. It's, uh... A detective badge. It has no real function, though. A petty challenge, and the prize was this stolen detective badge. I have an idea who the Phantom Thief might be, but none as to his motive. This is an important case to me, and yet, without you, I'd never have cracked it. Rather, I wouldn't have bothered. You have my gratitude. Thank you, Yusan. Naoto is showing her unconcealed smile, a rare occurrence. 
you feel your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. Naoto can now cure severe ailments during battle. Normally, I'd think this isn't the time to play along with such games, but... I, um... I think I'll let this play out, and if possible... Yeah, let's do it. I'm with you all the way, girl. Um... Huh? Yes. Let's. <laughs> Naoto's blushing. I'll see you again! You walked Naoto to her house and went home. By the way, if you pick the third option there, you would have reversed the social link, so don't do that. You can work as a tutor today, and we will. Okay, let's go and pick up a tower persona, and then we are going to go and hang out with Shu. I'm coming for you, Shu. Let's go. You tutored Shu. About this. I've memorized this formula, but what exactly does it mean in real life? You began to explain the problem to him in an easily understood manner. Expression is increased. These equations can be used in a bunch of different situations, huh? The people who came up with them were geniuses. I wish I was a genius. Work hard and you can be. You can become a genius through hard work. I thought you had to be born one. I've already been trying pretty hard in my opinion. It's still not enough. Shu thinks to himself. I'm sorry, I've been tired all day today. Can we finish the rest of this lesson next time? Shu looks pet. Mister! Let's change the subject to something else. What's up? Well, you see, what I like in a girl is... You told Shu about the kinds of girls you like. <laughs> you ended up being pretty frank about it. Well, I mean, what, what... What is it, you? Are you a boob guy? A butt guy? A leg guy? I mean, personally, I'm a leg guy, so... I mean, if you is me, then uh, he's a leg guy. Um, yeah, I guess I'm being pretty frank about it, too. Your courage has increased. <sighs> that was a bit surprising. <laughs> By which I mean really surprising, actually. Shu laughs. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like we're already out of time. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with me today. I think I was able to relax a little. I'd like to hear some more later. It seems that Shu is opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has grown even deeper. Oh, we are on a roll now. Then, goodbye. Please come back again. You finished your tutoring job and went home. You earned 10,000 yen. Now, some of you are probably wondering, hey, isn't this game supposed to be over? I mean, we... We caught the guy, right? We caught the guy, right? We will be hanging out with you. Um, in fact, I think we can just go straight to this. Um, let me just make sure there's nothing else I need to do today. Yeah, I think we're good. We're just gonna spend time with Thank Naoto. You. Thank you. There's something I want to show you. I shall see you later, then. You decided to spend the afternoon with Naoto. Cool. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing else I needed to do today, so we can just go straight there. Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. You recall that you have already made plans with someone. You should be going soon. Yes, we should. 
Can't keep a girl Naoto waiting. Samagawa. Naoto brought a new challenge from the Phantom Thief. This was in my mailbox this morning. The Phantom Thief knows where I live, which means he had other reasons for having you deliver the first card. Why you, though? <laughs> because I looked useless. <laughs> well, if that's the case, this Phantom Thief isn't a very good judge of character. Na Naoto is laughing heartily. So then, what do you think of the contents of this card? The card reads as follows. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot I chose. More cryptic this time. Well, I anticipated that. The first thing that comes to mind with fruit tree is the original card, but the second sentence. By the seven at the third. What do these numerical values mean? When the bank clo when the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot I chose. The numbers are important. The numbers themselves? The seven and the third. Naoto's eyes light up. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. Look at the third and seventh words. Banks and tree. In other words, by the large tree at the banks is the spot I chose. Anyway, let's search for the biggest tree at, the, at this river's banks. You search the river bank with Naoto. There was something buried by the tree you found. I knew it. This watch brings back memories. Naoto holds a digital watch, slightly large for a child's wrist. <laughs> this is pretty advanced, you know. It's one of the seven tools of the, de of the detective. It has an extremely strong backlight. You can use it to blind the enemy. <laughs> I modified it when I was a child. Very resourceful, honestly. I've always loved this sort of thing, ever since childhood. I preferred robots and cars to dolls and teddy bears. I liked high places, so I had a secret base in the trees. I enjoyed that. Why? Why couldn't I have been born male? It would have been much easier for me. I could have done what I wanted to with Gusto. It's funny, isn't it? Well, I mean, if it's any consolation, I don't think that your gender really has to do too much with it, and I am in fact glad that you are a girl. Huh? What are you saying? Uh, there's nothing good about it. Naoto is panicking fiercely. Really, it's quite difficult to keep my composure when you're around. I feel like I'm being lectured, like I'm still a child. Well, that wasn't my intention. <laughs> Naoto looks at her feet, embarrassed. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. Don't worry, Naoto. You're going to be the greatest detective this world's ever seen. What'd you get? Whoa, Invigorate too. Hot oh, damn. That's really good for her, because uh, a lot of her skills take significant amounts of SP. It, it seems I've been doing all the talking. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What were you like as a child? I wish I could have seen it. I was little shit, is what I was. I'll see you again. You chatted idly with Naoto, then went home. You hear someone at the front door. Who is it? Your order from the show has arrived. It's the eagle eye combo you purchased from the TV show. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Eagle eye, huh? Greatly raises evasion rate to physical attacks. That's a pretty good accessory, honestly. Nice. Do a quick save. 
All right, tonight we are going to read a book. Okay. Catching bugs. We're going to finish that one. The basics of bug catching are explained here, along with a funny anecdote from the author. The method sounds simple enough and may help you to catch more bugs. Since you finished blah blah blah, yep, you feel as if you'll be able to catch more bugs now. Oh yay! I love catching bugs. Sorry, not today, Naruto. Today we've got to do the moon social link, so that's our girl I. Oh cool, we've got one. Um, let's see if the principal's here today. Huh. Okay. Maybe I... You know what? I already turned that one in. I don't know what I'm thinking. I already turned that quest in. I remember doing it now. I'm just a big old dummy. But that's nothing new. You all knew that already, so... What do you want? Yes, I will. Okay. I looks almost happy. Not... Not quite, but almost. You followed I here. I have some news for you. The other day I bumped into him, and we talked for a while. You know, Daisuke-kun. But nothing happened. My heart didn't race. He was just a normal, good guy. I guess what I felt was kind of a fleeting thing. Hmm. Happens all the time, I guess? I mean, it certainly can. You mean, like, falling in love with the idea of being in love? <laughs> <sighs> I never thought that would happen to me. I guess I was wearing my heart on my sleeve, huh? I shrugs. I was lying to myself. Whenever there's been two ways I could go, I always did what the ideal girl would do. I forgot about the real me. The real me likes bulldogs more than German shepherds. Are you saying that you, what, like, uglier people? I'm better at long distance running than sprints. I prefer milk over tea, and I like daifuku more than cream puffs. I don't know how to hook up a TV. I think aromatherapy smells bad. And any purse that'll carry stuff is fine. Good for you. But I hid that part of me away and just pretended it wasn't there. No wonder I didn't think anyone would like me. Of course, I didn't have any redeeming qualities. I wasn't me. <laughs> That's why right now I feel pretty good. Almost happy. I smiles cheerfully. You feel you were able to support I in her time of need. The almost happy thing? Welcome to adulthood, I. That's the way we adults feel literally all the time. It's either miserable or almost happy. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Rank 8. Getting close on her. Wow, it's already getting dark. I guess it's true. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Bye-bye, you. I'll see you later. See you again. You parted with I and went home. Okay, tonight we're going to do some more tutoring. We're not going to increase the social rank today. So we're just going to get as many points as we can. Get some of that affinity up. You helped Shu study. You thoroughly explained the materials. Your expression has increased. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. 10,000 yen. Mission successful. Tutoring done. 
sometimes while we're learning about history, we forget that history is still alive and with us today. The Welwitsha is a plant in the Nam Namib Desert. Some individual specimens may be more than 2,000 years old. It must be very hard being able to survive cruel desert conditions for 20 centuries, and it's truly surprising that its two main leaves continue to grow for that entire time. I'm very curious about their overflowing will to live. Oh, were you listening, Yukun? I think this might be the first lesson where she wasn't, like, overtly sexual. What desert is the Wawicha found in? In the Namib. Good job, you got it right. I bet you're proud of yourself. The Wawicha is a really old plant living in the Namib Desert. I wonder if I'll gain some of its powers for immortality if I manage to get one of my own. Oh, but don't tell any of the other female teachers that. I don't need the competition. Alright, there's her weirdness. <laughs> Gave the correct answer. Knowledge is increased. Okay. That's going to be the end of today's episode. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.